Gary Woodland's one of the longest hitters on the PGA Tour. When you have the amount of speed that he has, you have to be absolutely precise at address. Any little difference in your grip and setup will make a huge difference in where the golf ball goes. Let's take a look at Gary's Pitcher Perfect setup here. The one thing that you really always want to pay attention to is that your arms and your shoulders are sitting right in front of your body. So he's got this triangle just right where you'd want it. The other thing to pay attention to is notice how his right shoulder is just a little bit lower than his left shoulder, but not too much. The same amount that his right hand is lower than his left hand on the grip. That's how much lower the right shoulder should be. Now the other thing to look at, look at where his hand position is. They're a little bit back. That's because with a driver, the face of the club is in front of the club shaft, and that's the correct position there. Now it's not going to be that position at impact, because at address, his weight is 50-50. At impact, his weight is going to be on his left side, probably 90% on his left side. And at that position, his hands are going to move forward. But at address, you're getting ready, remember, to make a takeaway. You're not getting ready to make impact. So to make a takeaway, you want your hands in this position here, where his hands are there, and they're a little bit back of where the club head is. This is a pitcher perfect position where anybody, if they could set up in that position, at least they give themselves a chance to have a, a, a good golf swing from there. So if you've got that nice, balanced, neutral setup, it gives you an opportunity as you turn back to keep your arms in front of your body and get the proper extension back away from the golf ball. Let's take a look as Gary moves back away from the ball. His arms are staying out in front of his body and he's got good extension here. This is what they call width in the swing. He's keeping his arms in front of his body and extending them back. That gives you a bigger arc and it keeps your body and hands and arms in sequence with one another. He's turned his shoulders, his arms are in front of his body. As opposed to letting his arms swing across his chest like this, he's keeping his arms in that same position he had at address. And that is a key position for consistency and for power.